Hey guys, Mr. Sanger here. You know, I was thinking that uh, we're all maybe going a little bit stir crazy, um, confined to our homes, doing the right thing. Um, but uh, I thought since we've got a little time before school gets started, maybe I'd put a little how to video together that might be kind of handy. And so I thought um, I would do a little video here on how to make uh, an important breakfast staple toast. So here's what you're going to need um, you're going to need some bread, any brand variety is just fine. Uh, you're going to need a toaster. Um, you're going to need, um, you know, a knife of some kind. Here's just kind of a selection of knives I've brought. And then of course, some um, assorted toppings. So, um, first thing you need to do is you need to take your bread out of the bag and, um, you just put those into the toaster like that. Um, and then here's actually a common sticking point. You'll notice that my toaster is not plugged in. So if I push this button down, nothing really happens. Um, so to correct that, you're going to need an outlet, and I happen to have an outlet right down here. So you just put the two prongs in the outlet, and and that should give the toaster power. A little sciencey thing there for you. Um, so then you simply push this button down, and um, and then you wait. Hey, hey, all right, it's done. So now um, getting the toast out is a little bit tricky. Um, you don't want to be careful not to put any metal objects down in there because, you know, that could electrocute you and, uh, and then your parents would sue me for making this video. So make sure that you just, you know, very carefully, delicately use your hands to kind of pinch it out um, and, then, and then place it here. Now, you know, very important to protect your countertops when you're slicing the toast. So that's why I have a cutting board. Um, I pulled a selection of knives out here for you. Um, you know, you can kind of choose your own. Um, I don't really know what these are for. This thing just, I don't know, it came with a knife set. Well, I don't know. Um, but I think I read somewhere on the internet this is, uh, this is good for slicing bread. So I guess I'll use this one. And um, I'm going to show you a little technique here for when you slice the bread. Um, you know, a lot of people just kind of cut it like that. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm gonna, this is kind of radical. This might blow some of your minds. I'm going to go at a diagonal. It's a very European technique. Uh, it might be a little too out there for you, but, but I find once you try this, you're going to have a hard time going back. So I'm just going to take that and just slice. Oh, look at that. That is a good knife for slicing toast, let me tell you. Just let the serrations do the job for you. Um, don't put a lot of pressure. Sometimes people just kind of like <clears throat> push down on it. You don't want to push. You just want to gradually, slightly slide back and forth and just let the knife do the work for you. Oh, look at that. Beautiful triangles there. Um, so then it's up to you to put some toppings on there. I've got some assorted jellies here. You can do jelly. I've got some peanut butters. I accidentally grabbed some tomato sauce. If anyone asks for tomato sauce, um, they're weirdo, so don't, don't let that happen. Um, honey. And so what you're going to do now is you're going to just spread the topping onto the bread. Now, a little interesting thing here, um, this piece right here was the first piece. This is the end piece. A lot of people don't like the end piece. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions about the end piece. It's not as good for you. It can give you coronavirus. These are all myths. These are all not true. So you can just disregard all those. But here's a little trick for you to kind of cover this up. Um, my, my dear daughter, Adeline, which, which topping did you want, Addie? Did you want jelly? I guess the raspberry. Raspberry, okay. She's chosen, well, we have strawberry. So watch how I'm going to trick my daughter, Adeline. Um, I'm going to put the strawberry jelly right on top of that crusty part. And if you look at this, it, like, it looks seamless. You can't even tell. That it's the crust part anymore and then she'll eat it without any problems so if you're someone who likes to you know lie to your loved ones this is gonna be a good option for you. Um, and so you just kind of continue spreading good idea to wipe the knife down between each different item or else you contaminate um, and then when you're finished um, you just serve it and uh, to serve you know I like to do I like to do a plate 
Um, and you can place that on there, and lo and behold, you have toast. So I hope you can play around with this, try it out, maybe do something nice for your parents or siblings or other people. And, uh, you know, hope everything's going well for you guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Yeah. And how was it, Adeline? Mm -hmm. What? <laughs>